If you are a Classroom Delete fan, you probably have heard about the most infamous scene of the series, and that is the scene between Ayana Koji and Kei in Volume 4, also known as the Spread Your Leg scene. This was a scene that even anime only got to see as well in season 2 of Classroom Day Elite, and I did see a few discussions of some anime only saying how they couldn't believe that Ayana Koji was capable of doing all that just to get someone to be by their side. However, in today's video, I'll be explaining why the light novel version was much more darker than in the anime version and why I prefer the light novel version than in the anime. So with that out of the way, let's just begin. Now, I think the reason why I enjoyed the light novel version more than the anime was because of how more insane it was in the light novel than in the anime because in the anime, while I did enjoy the lighting, the voice acting, the visuals, and everything about it, it was very clear that they had to tone some things down because as you all know, most anime in Japan airs on TV. So obviously even they have regulations as well as to what they should put on TV and what not to put on TV. That's just how it is as well. And this scene was no different. But just because I'm saying this, that doesn't mean that the scene was completely ruined in the anime. No, it still had that very intense moment. It still had that very dark moment. And this shows that they were still completely treating the source material with with respect but if i had to choose which one between the light novel or the anime i will pick the light novel version over the anime and there's a lot of reasons as to why and one of the reasons being because it's the small details in the light novel that made that scene even more darker than in the anime like for example when ayana koji is going to see k after she's been bullied and beaten up by manabe and her group in the light novel as ayana koji is approaching k k wasn't expecting someone else to be there as well because remember this all happened underneath the cruise ship some place where it was completely isolated and no one was should be there to begin with but after Ayana Koji sees her he asks if she has calmed down already to which Kei responds by just simply wiping her tears and asking where is Harata to which Ayana Koji responds saying that he's taking over Harata as Harata was called by a teacher in which he had to do something else but in reality the reason why Ayana Koji was there instead of Harata was because in the light novel version Ayana Koji actually convinces Harata to text Kei to meet him at the lower levels of the cruise ship in order to talk and while at first Harata was kind of confused and didn't understand what was the whole point of doing all this Ayana Koji was still able to convince him to send that message to K because he knew K will go at the lower levels of the boat without questioning anything because this was coming from Harata and what I like about the light novel version even more is that even though K showed that she's not a tough person and she's very vulnerable the fact that she still tried to act tough in front of Ayana Koji just goes to show us that she won't back down easily like for example she then starts threatening Ayana Koji to not tell anybody as to what happened with her and Manabe and her group and then she starts proceeding by saying to Ayana Koji that maybe it'll be a good idea if he could just simply beat up Manabe and her group for her. To which Ayana Koji simply refuses because he tells her that that will only make the situation worse. To which after Kei hearing all this she just simply insults Ayana Koji showing us that she's still trying to act like a tough person when she's not. Which is something that we didn't get to see in the anime because these kind of moments didn't really happen in the anime. And the other reason why I prefer the light novel version more than the anime is because we got to see what Ayana Koji was willing to do in order to break K, not physically but mentally. You see, in the anime we got to see that, but in the light novel it was much more worse because not only does Ayana Koji insult K, but remember in the light novel version K was still sitting down after being bullied by Manabe and her group, and Ayana Koji not only forces her to stand up, but that's when he starts pinning her in the wall. And this is where Ayana Koji shows us who is in control of the entire situation, and that is him. Because even though she's trying to free herself from him and trying to fight back against him, it's no use because it's clearly shown here that he is a very strong individual and this leads to Ayana Koji threatening her saying that if he wanted to he could easily expose her past the past that she's been trying to hide all this entire time further proving just how much in control Ayana Koji is of the whole situation and then after in which Kei acts Ayana Koji if he just simply after her body Ayana Koji plays a part pretending that that's the case and in the anime version it's just simply him letting her go which as a result leads to Kei dropping at the floor and then Ayana Koji giving his most infamous Miss lines of the series in which he tells her to spread her legs. However, in the light novel, it was much more darker because when Kei asks Ayana Koji if he's after her body, Ayana Koji tells her that it's not a bad idea and proceeds to grab her thighs and then comments in his head how Kei's skin is really soft and how he couldn't really imagine skin being this soft compared to his. But while all this is happening, he clearly sees that Kei is not happy with this current situation and it's very clear that she's at the verge of crying. However, this doesn't stop Ayana Koji from giving his most infamous line which is spread your legs and slowly K starts doing that showing just how far she's willing to go in order to make sure her past doesn't get exposed when I 
Anna Chloe looks straight at her eyes, all he could see is darkness in her eyes, indicating that she's about to accept what's about to happen to her. And it's these kind of moments that just goes to show us what Kay was willing to do in order to keep her past once again hidden, which is something that we didn't get to see in the anime because while yes, she did show us that she was still willing to cooperate with Ayana Cody as long as he didn't expose her past, you could tell in the light novel that the main things Ayana Cody did to Kay, she was willing to let it all happen as long as he didn't reveal her past to anyone. And let me remind you that when Ayana Cody told Kay to spread her legs and she was doing it, Ayana Cody pretended to be unbuckling his belt to further see what Kay would do and at that moment Kay was still standing even though she knew what was going to happen she just simply closed her eyes showing us that once again she was willing to let Ayana Cody do anything as long as her past was not revealed to anyone and something that we didn't get to see in the anime was when Ayana Cody asked Kay why was she willing to do anything just to keep her secret that hidden to which Kay responded in a very aggressive way how this is what always happens to her whenever she gets bullied she just lets it all happen in order for the bullying to just stop and that she can no longer have to deal with it and tells Ayana Cody that she's been bullied non-stop even before reaching to this high school she's been heavily bullied all her life and she gives a ton of examples like how other people have threw water at her how they left nasty things in her decks how they destroyed her clothes calling her a bunch of names and at first she did try to fight back all these bullies but no matter what she did she would always get bullied non-stop and at some point she just simply gave up and simply started latching onto others like a parasite in order for them to protect her no matter what and that is something that Ayana Koji was very quick to notice as well and I really do wish that this moment was adapted in the anime because this would have given more people more of a reason to sympathize with Kay don't get me wrong they already did show us that Kay was dealing with a lot of things in her life and they did show us that she was being heavily bullied by Manabe and her group but I feel like had they actually shown this moment more people would have sympathized with Kay and maybe in some cases some people would have rooted for Kay to have happiness in her life because that's what exactly what I was wishing when after reading this volume I wanted Kate to have a happy life. I wanted Kate to have good things happen to her because she's just been through a lot of things. And that would eventually happen to her as the series goes on. I'm not going to spoil anything that happens because I know people are waiting for season 3. But just know that all the happiness that's about to happen to Kate is very well deserved. And then after that, I think the anime does a great job into adapting the last remaining things that happen in this scene. That being when Ayana Cody promises Kate that he will protect her no matter what. I think the anime did a good job adapting that. And it was very clear after him saying that, that he wasn't going to do anything terrible to Kay. I know some people were kind of quick to jump into the conclusion that Ayana Koi was going to do something terrible but he was not. He only did this to once again test to see what Kay was willing to do and how low she was willing to go in order to keep her secrets hidden because he wanted her to help him out in his plans that he's planning on doing which involved getting class D to class A. So overall while the anime did get the important parts of this scene I really wish they adapted the little details that made this scene so memorable because I feel had they added those little details they would have made the scene 10 times more better like for example showing us just how much in control of the situation Ayana Koji was show us a little bit of the bullying that Kay had to go through in her past because as a result as you all know Kay decided to do something really terrible to herself and as a result she ended up with a scar I'm not gonna say it because we're on YouTube but you obviously know where I'm going with this it's very clear that she dealt with so much that that's what she decided to do and finally showing us just how low Kay was willing to go because it's very clear that she was willing to do anything in order to keep her secrets hidden but it is what it is there's nothing really we could change now because the anime has already happened this scene has already been adapted and of course there's nothing really else to do of course I do understand that they obviously had to tone some things down because some things were just way too dark to show on Japanese TV but once again it doesn't mean that I hate the scene I think the scene was really done well I did see that they did try to respect the source material so as long as they do that then I'm perfectly fine with some of the changes they made and it's not really a huge deal because once again there's always the light novels so with that that's pretty much the entire video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time